हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोराटिजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 39 फॉर होटल मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम इन लारावेल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल मैनेज द टेस्टिमोनियल्स फ्रॉम द एडमिन ओके इट मींस वी विल फेच द टेस्टिमोनियल एंड वी कैन अप्रूव और डिसअप्रूव द टेस्टिमोनियल फ्रॉम द एडमिन देन अकॉर्डिंग टू द अप्रूव एंड डिसअप्रूव्ड स्टेटस वी कैन शो द टेस्टिमोनियल हियर ओके टिल नाउ वी हैव क्रिएटेड द टेस्टिमोनियल एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड द ऑल सिस्टम फॉर टेस्टिमोनियल दैट कस्टमर कैन ऐड द टेस्टिमोनियल फ्रॉम Uh, from here or uh, from the form and then he can see every anyone can see the testimonial here okay so let's uh, let's manage the testimonials from the admin so first of all i will uh, create a route i will create a route for this okay and then we will create the uh, we will create the controller and uh, we will link the uh, we will link the testimonial we will define the link in uh, in the sidebar okay so <clears throat> let's open the first of all i will open the routes okay actually we should open the we should do start with the controller so what i will do i will just open the admin controller because we are not uh, creating editing updating uh, the testimonial so that i'm going to do in the admin controller okay so this is our if, uh, this let's say what we will do we will open our Uh, let's say uh, room controller let's open our room controller and we will fetch our index we will copy our index page okay and here we will define that uh, testy monies okay and here we need to fetch we need to import the testimonial model okay so testimonial model here and let's define here all and this will be uh, this will be testimonials okay let's say testimonials uh, where we will where we will add this so i will go to resources views and uh, resources views let's say uh, we will add here let's say define the admin admin testimonials okay so <clears throat> what i will do uh, i will copy the i will copy the resources views uh, let's say we have room so i will copy this index page okay and paste it here i will rename this admin testimonials dot blink okay and i will cut this and paste it here okay and i'll open this so this is the admin controller and it is it is reflecting to that admin testimonials here so i will say testimonials okay and we don't need this add new link because we are not going to add testimonial from the admin and uh, we don't need this success link okay because if we want to not publish then we will say uh, un we will define the unpublish okay and this is the testimonial content okay and here we will define the action okay so i'll copy this paste it here and here we will fetch the data so the first is id and the second one is uh, testimonial content so what it's what uh, what is the field uh, let's say database migration testimonial this is testy content okay the content and we don't need this td and i will just remove all the links just define only one link okay now let's go to the routes so admin routes web and i will define the testimonial here so this will be testimonials okay and this will be admin controller and in the admin controller we have method name testimonials okay and now let's do the last thing we need to define the link in the sidebar so resources views we have front layout not not front layout it, it should be layout okay fine so let's go to define here uh, let's define after the services so i will say i will say customer testimonials okay 
fine and this should be this should be testimony i think we should define this uh, with the uh, with the admin prefix because everything is with the everything is in the admin prefix so let's define this with the admin prefix okay fine so this will be go to this page and this page will handle everything so refresh the page here so this is customer testimonial and the get method is not supported okay very nice let's say get <coughs> so get method and here's our testimonials and this is the view link and everything is fine everything so let's define here the publish and unpublish okay so what we will do here what we can do here what we can do here we need to let's define the delete link why we are doing the publish and unpublish let's define the delete link so that we can simply delete the things testimonial if we don't need anything then we will delete that okay uh, I will say uh, I'll say room uh, index I'm going to copy the delete link and because we have defined the confirmation also uh, I'll go to add testimonial ID DID so this will be are you sure to delete this data yes so delete this and we need to define the link so what we will do here we will just simply copy this thing paste it here testimonial delete admin controller destroy destroy testimony okay and let's define this delete uh, we should copy the copy this from the room controller so i will go here copy this and define in the admin destroy this is the thing and we can say testimonials okay and we now we need this uh, session because this will show the message okay so testimonial this thing fine so our controller is totally set up our web is uh, route is totally set up layout is set up now let's try to delete this confirm okay so it is saying that method app does method app destroy testimonial does not exist yeah this is saying right because we need to we didn't rename that this thing room is not defined uh oh why we are doing these things not we why i am doing these things okay so data has been deleted and the only one data is showing here so now it will be here okay so everything is working perfect so now we can manage this testimonial from the admin okay so <clears throat> in the next section in the next section we will uh, we have done this in the next section we will create the about us and contact us page then here is the list that you can see here that what we have what we are going to uh, do next okay so this is our next section in the next section we will define about us and contact us page we will create model controller routes and all the things then we will define the email notification for when someone contact to the when the someone send the query in the contact form then we will define the email notification and so on we will do the things okay so thank you so much for watching this video please share subscribe like this channel and uh, join me on instagram facebook github okay and please support me via razor pay via paypal okay i will appreciate that always and thank you so much for watching this video thank you